couple of Gaston County Elementary Schools have become a playground for copper thieves. They have struck five times and done thousands of dollars in damage. News Channel 36 reporter Beth Shane live at 6 tonight. Beth? Well, Dave, the last place you want thieves prowling around is your child's school. Two different elementary schools in Gaston County have had the exact same problem. Thieves looking for copper dismantling the air conditioning unit. Of course, oh so important given the heat we're expecting this week. As you can see, we've lost two here and one more right down there. The mercury isn't all that's rising this week at Wood Hill Elementary. That's about what we get to see when they're through with them. That's all they leave. It seems the thieves that first struck during the summer are back at work. But the coal around is what they're taking out. This is their latest handiwork, break-ins three nights in a row. And then clean them up and keep the kids out of it. That's all we can do. There are security lights now and fences and police patrols as well. You know, we've done everything possible. That's not to put armed guards. For the school communities, it's an invasion. It's pretty devastating for us that someone could just hop up on the roof and leave us without air and not even think about it. And still today, those invaders not caught. We're calling on our communities to try to help us to pay close, close attention to your school, uh, be a good neighbor to your school, and report anything you see. Reporting there, by the way, uh, the district's seen 30 of those units destroyed so far, so it's pretty scary to think. Yeah, of course it is, and certainly this week they kind of need them. I mean, we've got right. some temperatures up in the 80, unusually warm weather across the Charlotte area today. John